Me, I'm a real bitch, real niggas fuck with me If I ain't sent for you, bitch, then don't come for me Yeah, I'm getting money, ho, I'm living comfortably You not a G and took a L, why cause you ugly I'm petty, it's fun to me Hey love, as you guys can see from the title below This is gonna be my video comparing my iPhone 8 Plus to my iPhone XS Max some people was telling me in my unboxing video, it's called the 10S Max. Girl, look, when I pay for something with my own money, I can call it whatever I want to call it. You can call your phone whatever you want to call it, honey. Look, I'm not a techie channel. So let me throw that out there. I am not a techie type of person. You know, I just buy stuff that I like, you know, to each its own. Um, If you don't like Android, then that's, that's to each its own. I have also a galaxy s9 plus in the like i don't know it's called um i don't know it's like a purpley color whatever it's called and i do have well i only have one iphone 8 plus now because i gave one away to my niece and i have my other iphone 8 plus right here and then i also have my max now for the sake of this video i'm just going to say the a plus and max i'm not going to be like x S back. So like I said, the disclaimer is I am not a techie type of person. I don't know all the RAM, gifts, all that jazz right off hand, but I did do my research before I purchased the phone. So with that being said, look, don't come for your girl. I am not like one of those tech channels that have millions and millions of subscribers. I'm just coming to do this video because you guys requested me to do this video in my unboxing video. If you haven't seen that video, I have a link down below. Also, um, I'm not going to go into like this, like everything. Because like I said, I'm just going to tell you guys some stuff that I've noticed since I've had my phone. Um, I will do a updated review or I may film a review once I'm done with this video. Because I have had this phone now for a week and you guys did ask for a one week review so i will do that so i'm just gonna get right in it so this is the eight plus this is how it looks i did have the gold one um and this is the 256 gig and when i did my unboxing i had no, that was my other a plus i had this is the other one my other one was a 64 and this one is a two 56 um so yeah i really do like my a plus i still use it so i'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat if you guys just want to know like the boxes and everything this is how the a plus box came this is how the um max box come this is how it looks if you guys want to see right there you can clearly see it's almost like literally if you're holding it in your hand like let me take it out of the case and i do know that the display on the let me change my wallpaper y'all because my wallpaper is like a picture of me in a two-piece because y'all know i didn't change my whole lifestyle of eating and everything like that so I'm just going to change my wallpaper right quick because, girl, like, I'm out here naked, okay? And I don't need y'all screenshotting, putting me on all these different little websites and stuff. Y'all know how y'all be doing it. People be sending me stuff all the time. I be like, don't send me nothing negative, girl. Keep it moving. So, okay, so I'll do it like that. So, with that being said, this is how they look at the back. So, if I had to say the feel of the phone... To me, I will say the Max feels better in my hand. It don't feel as wide as the 8 Plus. Um, and I'll just switch hands because I am right-handed. Yes. So the Plus feels... My hand is stretching a little more when I hold the Plus. But I think this phone weighs more. Um, because it's definitely thicker. Now, I could be wrong, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what I noticed. This is how the sides look. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. 
of course the display on the phone now i will say this the display on the max is significantly different from the plus um i noticed that right off the bat like soon as i turned it on and hadn't done anything to the phone i noticed how just sharp and crisp and the saturation on the max looks it's really gorgeous the display is amazing i think it's called oled display i could be wrong i'm just going off of memory from when i look when when i first heard about the phone because it was so many different you know so i kind of forget everything but this display is gorgeous so the display is definitely bigger on the max but honestly if you have the a plus you won't notice a dis display difference if you just rock with your 8 plus you know so it's different reasons why people buy phones so you know i have my reasons i'm sure everyone will have their reasons now what one thing i'm not going to do you guys is just buy a phone just because it's new um there's been several phones that have come out i've not purchased like um my husband had the note 8 i didn't get the note 8 um i didn't get a lot of Android phones that came out to be quite honest. Um, the last one I had is actually the nine uh, plus. I have that one, and and to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm going to even get the Note nine. I'm not just feeling it like that, so I may skip that phone. I purchase phones because I think they're worth my money. That's why I purchase phones. So just want to get that out there. So the size, of course, this is a 5.5 screen, okay, and this is the 6.5. Of course, you can see the difference in the screen sizes, as you can see right here. Of course, I'm trying not to blind you guys, but I want to get real up and personal you guys can see. You have a full display, and then on this one, of course, you have like the bottom and the top part. Now, one thing I will say I noticed as far as the display with having the full screen completely just like this, when you're going through your emails or anything on your phone, it's going to be a full screen. Like if I were to just go into, mm, I don't know, let's say I go into... I have no idea. Uh, what can I go into that's not... I'll just go into like my email. Okay, so let's say I go into my email and it covers almost the full screen. I'm trying to get it where you... You know what? Let me just go on Safari. And then I'll just go to Yahoo or something. So you guys can see what I'm saying. So... The first thing you're going to notice when you go on like a website, you're going to notice the, be the, the bevel. Now, the thing about it is I did not like this notch thing at the top on the smaller X. But because it's the plus, it's definitely not as noticeable. But that's not even what I'm talking about. I just thought about that as I'm looking at it right now. But as you guys can see, the whole screen is displayed. So you're definitely getting a full display when you go on to like Facebook, Instagram, all your social medias, you're going to have a full display. But what I did notice, if I were to go, let me just go to my YouTube channel and I'm just going to play something, but I'm going to turn it down. Now, as you guys can see, I'm going to turn it to the side. Now, if you notice, when you turn it to the side, right here at the top looks like this phone, the, the top notches. So it cuts off the screen a lot, like a lot. And that was one of the things I was hoping that this phone did not do. Because with the X, if you guys didn't know, I did have the X. Um, I'll just press pause. I did have the X for like seven days. I took it back because it was just too small because coming from a plus, it was just too small for me. Even though the display, you know, was full screen, it just still felt too small in my hands. And that is why I was like hoping Apple would definitely come out with the plus. But what is the bummer, like 
the con in having a phone this big, you want to be able to see the full screen. I don't know why they would do that. Like, that really, really sucks. So, if you're someone and, like, you watch Netflix all the time, I'll show you guys even how Netflix looks. This is how it would look if you're watching YouTube. The top part is literally cut off, and it reminds you of, like, an 8 plus, 7 plus, even a 6 plus. I think Apple should definitely, when if they come out with another plus, of, of of like this what the fuck am I saying if they were to come out with another XS plus number two whatever I really think they should bring it where the screen comes all the way up here what's the point of having a phone if you watch movies or anything or YouTube or whatever and it doesn't even come all the way out to the end it literally cuts off the phone a lot so I'm going to go into Netflix just so you guys can see the comparison it looks the exact same as when you are on a a plus so if you're someone and that's the only thing that you uh do on your phone is talk text and watch netflix and youtube i would definitely not upgrade because the screen is cut off like it really really sucks i'm just gonna play i don't know like uh i don't know whatever this is and then as you guys can see it's cut off it's cut off it literally looks just like a A plus is cut off, and I really do hate that. That's one of the things I really do hate that the screen is cut off when you are watching YouTube, Netflix, and even other stuff that has to involve uh, even stars. The app stars just like this. Everything is just like this. So that's definitely uh uh like what the fuck type of like when I first went on YouTube and I was like, what the hell? The screen is cut off. But when you're in anything else, let me show you guys. If I were to go to my, um, I don't know, let's see. If I were to go to, oh shit, I almost dropped my phone. If I almost, it's almost like you have a damn A plus in your hand or a seven plus in your hand. So, like, say, for instance, if I were to go on my Instagram, if this is my Instagram, if y'all not follow me, follow. It's the full screen. Why couldn't it be full screen for all the other apps like Netflix, Stars, YouTube? I'm sure a lot of you guys watch YouTube because you're watching me right now, probably on the YouTube app. And if you have a Mac, you're definitely going to notice that the screen is cut off. Why have a damn... Uh, 6.5 inch phone if it's not going to show the full display all the time. I think that is really, really stupid. Um, oh, Apple. And yes, I'm going to say that because I am a, a paying customer and if I'm paying for a 6.5 inch, I want the phone to be the complete 6.5 inch throughout the phone. So that's that. Um, like I said, it is a higher resolution on the Mac, so it's definitely going to look better. One thing I don't like about my Max that I noticed the difference on my A plus the face the face um, front camera on the A plus to me feels more natural. It don't feel like I'm like photoshopped or something um, in my face like I have a face tune or something on my face. I did notice with the X because I have taken a lot of selfies with this phone it makes me appear as though I have a filter on my phone which is kind of overpowering powering powering you know what I mean y'all know I'm country for me because I don't really like my pictures to look fake fake now I will go on face tune if I'm you know, if it's that time of the month and I have a pimple or, you know, a bump, like like I have a mole here, sometimes I'll, you know, face tune that out with the smooth app. But that's pretty much it. I don't want my face to look fake. And that's something that I noticed. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed it or not, but that's something that's something I noticed right off the bat. And I was like, let me compare the two. Like, let me take a picture with my iPhone 8 Plus and then let me take a picture with, you know, because if you look at the specs, if you look at the difference, like go on Google and look at difference between the A plus and the Max, it's not a lot of difference, okay? It's really not a lot of difference. If you are someone and you like to take pictures, 
Um, now this camera on the back of this phone is fucking amazing. It's just a front facing camera that makes you look so photoshopped. Like it kind of makes you look like, um, like a baby doll kind of, and it's kind of weird because it, it makes your eyebrows look like you don't have eyebrows. Like even though I have on makeup, um, I still have eyebrows under here. And when I took pictures without makeup on, it definitely made me look so fake. And that is, that's not the look I'm going for. Also, the, the back camera to me works so much better. Looks so good. Like if you're taking pictures of anything, it looks like you're taking like a picture that has like HDR. And that is a feature that is in this phone. HDR, you can turn it on or off. But the thing about it is, it's good when you're using a camera like this. But when you're using FaceTime, I went in there just to try to take off HDR just to see if it would make a difference. And honestly, you guys, it definitely did not make a difference. And I was so bummed because who doesn't like taking selfies? So what I did was I actually had to download another, like, picture app. And I used that to take my front-facing cameras, I mean, my front-facing pictures, simply because the front-facing camera, it, it really kind of sucks. And, you know... I'm not bashing the phone for people who have the Macs. I'm just being honest, like I said, because I'm a paying customer. So, you know, they was boosting the camera and all that jazz, but it just, it, 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 it sucks to me. That's just my opinion to each its own. Another thing I noticed, um, which is not the phone, because even on the 8 Plus, I didn't update my phone to iOS 12 until after I got my Max, and I am on FaceTime all the time. Sometimes when I'm talking to companies, I'm on FaceTime, and you guys, the FaceTime sucks on both of the phones for iOS 12, meaning, and I know, I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. Like, please let me know in the comments if you hate the FaceTime new update like for iOS 12 meaning when you're on FaceTime with someone the old way all you had to do was just press the camera and and you're good if you want to turn the camera around or turn it back on you all you had to do was just press it and then that's it now it's so many settings inside of the the FaceTime now I do like the fact that you can be on like uh your Memoji and be on FaceTime, you know, if you're having a bad day, girl, and you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, just you put your little memo on on a good day. But they could have just added the Memoji, like, little feature at the bottom. But what they did was they fucked it up. And that's just my opinion. I'm a paying customer. And to me, it, it, I know I'm not the only one. Like, please let me know in the comments. Because when I'm on FaceTime and I want to turn around, like, the other day I was somewhere and I'm trying to show my kids some shoes and I'm literally on FaceTime like this y'all and instead of me just clicking it to flip the camera around you gotta like slide it down and then you gotta like do all this extra sh like girl you literally have to do and if I know I'm not the only one even when I'm trying to pull it down to flip it over like this here it be getting stuck like it gets stuck I wish Apple would please take that back but it's too late. I'm sure they can't take it back. But that's another thing that I don't like. I hate. It's the FaceTime update. And like I said, if you updated it already on your 8 Plus or your 7 Plus, um, then you're stuck with it. But honestly, if you haven't updated, I wouldn't even update it because that FaceTime literally sucks. Um, the speakers on the phone, I took notes. The speakers on the phones are significantly different the max speakers are very very loud very very clear and i'm not sure because if you look at the bottom of the phones honestly it looks like the a plus the a plus do have more holes at the bottom than the max but it's really really loud i definitely noticed the difference i played my um a plus and then i played my max it's very, very loud on the Max. I do like the fact that you can do Memoji. I like it. When I had my um, X, I didn't like it um, because I thought the Bitmoji was kind of like, uh, you know, like 
I would rather a emoji look like me. So thanks Apple for that. Also, what else did I put in my notes that I noticed? The battery lasts so much longer because it is a bigger battery. I'm happy about that because I'm always using my phones all the time, like literally all the time. I have emails and business coming in all the time. So to have um, a bigger battery is really good. But what sucks is that this phone is capable of fast charging, but Apple definitely did not put it in the box. It came with just the basic iPhone shit that always come in the box. And then on top of that, the dongles did not come in here. And when I did my unboxing, I was like, where is it? It don't come in here. Whether I use it or not, whether you need it or not, whether it's on the headphones and you can just plug your phone up, listen to music, blah, 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 whatever. For a phone plus tax, my phone was $1,200, okay? So $1,200, y'all should have added in, to be quite honest, to be honest, for a phone that costs over a thousand dollars, honestly, you could have put in the AirPods. Now I have a pair of AirPods, okay? But still, you could have threw in a pair of AirPods, the fast depth in the charger, and the dongle. Whether we use it or not, Apple, like Apple is really all about that tough money. And clearly you can see they didn't put the fast charging charger in here, but yet you have to go pay sixty to seventy dollars to get it. When, if you're paying, I think honestly, you guys, if you're paying for a phone over $1,000, you should get something free. Something extra should come in, in here. Something extra should come in here versus this A+. plus. If we're talking about prices now, this A+, plus literally costs down like five or $600. If you go online right now on T-Mobile, it's hella cheap. It's hella cheap. You know, you're not losing if you still have an A+. plus. You know what I'm saying? Like... You're not losing if you have an A+. Plus. To me, shit, you're still winning because it's an A+. Plus. It still has a good camera. It still it still has an I. If you do the iOS 12 update, the only thing that sucks is FaceTime. So you're getting pretty much everything that's in the Max. You just have an A+. Plus. Um, the, the resale value on this phone is not going to be as much as the resale value on that one because it's clearly a new phone. Anytime a newer phone come out, the resale of any previous phone or any other phone before they... The value is going to drop down. So if you're someone thinking about resale, um, you know, in the future, whatever, I would get an X. Also, the price versus the price for these, it's just, it's, 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 it's like, it's so unreal the difference of how much these phones cost. And I live in Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas is like 8.5%. And like I said, $1,200 versus $600 plus tax, you may be looking at $650, $700. 650-700 versus 1200. You can get two phones and still be, you know what I'm saying, good with the iOS 12 update versus getting one phone and you paying $1200 for it. If we want to talk about pricing, I'm just saying. If we want to talk about pricing. This is a comparison. You know, I'm sure I'm going to forget some shit, but I mean, I'm not a techie person. Also, what else? If you're someone and you're used to the home button, of course, bye-bye, it's not there. But after a while, you will get used to the gestures. I got used to the gestures because, like I said, I did have the um, X for a week. I'm not going to lie, when I first had the X, it was kind of hard to get, you know, used to the gestures. But now, since I've had the Plus, and I know I have to, like, use the phone, I'm not returning it. I know, you know, this is the control center right here. I know that, you know, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys real quick. This is the A+. Plus. To get straight into it, this is all you have to do. This this all you have to do. This is it. This is all you have to do is this. That's it. Straight into the phone. Nothing, nothing else. Straight into the phone. That's it. This phone right here, now I will say, the um, face recognition is like this. It's like this. It's definitely quicker than the X was, or at least the X that I had. And sometimes in the dark, it would not even read my face. So, if... Sometimes if I fell asleep with my lamp on beside my bed, then it'll recognize me then because there's a little light in the room. But, bitch, if it's dark, dark, dark in my room, it, it, my ex did not read me. You know what I'm saying? But this one reads me. It could be pitch back in the room, 
that is what I will say. Apple definitely did a, a really good job with that. So if it's pitch black in the room and I turn it on, it's gonna automatically, it, it, it literally unlocks super fast. Um, another thing is, when I had the X and then I had my A plus at the same time, of course the plus is gonna feel bigger in your hand. This doesn't feel bigger in my hand, honestly. It's kind of like holding um, the A plus. It's just a little, it's not as, it's maybe a couple of inches. This one is, this one goes in like this more, you know? And then the A plus is a little wider. That's just me, that's just what I've noticed. To you, it may feel bigger than the A plus, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a bigger girl, you know what I'm saying? You might have a little hand, you may think, oh my God, this one is too damn big for me. Maybe because you have little hands. I'm a big girl, you know what I'm saying? I have big hands, long nails, and all that good jazz. So, to me, it fits really, really good in my hand. Like, it's really sturdy in my hand. Now, I did notice with my A+, Plus, my A+, Plus is kind of slippery when you hold it without a phone case. When you hold it without a phone case, it's definitely slippery. With this phone, it just feels good in your hand. It has a really, really good grip. So, the chances of you dropping this phone you probably drop your A plus uh, quicker. Like I said, it do feel bigger in the hands like so. Also, what else did I notice that I put in my notes? Um, if you're someone and you are into like taking pictures and stuff like that, you you may want to get the X. And my reason behind it, because it comes in 512 gigabytes, I believe, 512 or 514, girl, I don't know. There ain't no way in the hell I was about to get Apple. $1,400 some dollars, plus tax, it would have been almost $1,600. Girl, my money long, but baby, it ain't that long, okay? I, I bought on the budget on this channel, girl. I ain't about to get nobody that much money if it ain't going toward a mortgage or something. Like, girl, that is just too much money for a phone. But to each his own, you work hard, spend your money, whatever you want, you spend your money on. I'm just telling you what I ain't gonna do. That's not what I'm gonna do, okay? And I don't use a phone that much, but if you're someone like to take pictures and stuff like that, and you use it for work and stuff, this is definitely a great phone, especially using this back camera. You get a lot of storage. With the A Plus, you can only, oh shit, with the A Plus, you can only get 64 and 256. With the Max, you can get 64, 200 and something, and 500 and something. So that's a definite goal if you're someone thinking about, you know, doing that. Um, like I said, it feels the same in my hand. One thing I will say, both of them do have the glass backs, so you're not losing anything when it comes to that, because they both have glass backs. Um, this one I have in silver, that one is in rose gold. I opted out for the gold because I had the gold 7 plus, um, which looked really, really pinkish. That's why I got it, because I really like the fact that it did look pinkish. And then that one, which is on the floor, which I'm not going to get it. Um, cause I'm gonna have to edit and I ain't gonna do all that. Also, the A plus that's on the floor, <laughs> it's more of like a, to me, a cinnamon goldish looking color with a little undertone of pink. The gold to me, to me, still has like a undertone of pink in it and like a bronzy type of copper all mixed together because when i'm thinking of gold i'm thinking of like 24 karat gold you know when i say gold because they say gold it's a gold phone it's not a rose gold phone it's gold of course if you have rose gold it's going to have like a pinkish undertone or like a blush undertone because it's rose gold that phone say gold, but to me, um, like in my kitchen, I have gold accessories. They don't look the same, you know, and like, but it's still a pretty color. I just don't think Apple should have just said it was gold because to me, it don't look gold. Um, I do like the silver one. I had the, this color in the X, um, and I did get this color because I feel like if I'm going to purchase a phone I didn't want to go with gold and gold and gold so I chose to do this color also um you can get wireless charging on both phones 
So if you're someone like, oh, you know, it has the fast um, charging, you're able to charge it fast, well, girl, it ain't even in the box. You got to spend more money for it. You know, Apple is <sighs> no dongle, but the dongle come in the, the box for the A+. Plus. I remember. I have it. It came in this box. While it's charged, you can get on both phones, okay? Both phones. Both phones are wireless charging. Um, like I said, the dongle one in there. To me, it's like Apple always updates stuff, but you always got to spend your money for it. What's the point of having a phone that can charge fast if you don't put it in the box? That's stupid as hell. Put it in the box, Apple. Also, I noticed, let me see, there's no head jack on both. So, you know, that's why I say it's really not a difference. Of course, this phone runs um, faster. It's definitely faster. It has a 6.5 inch screen, but it cuts off when you're watching different apps like I said before. Um, and that's, I think that's pretty much it. You know, the camera optical image on both is, you know, they have that on both cameras. Um, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. If I had to give you guys my opinion to me, because you guys asked me to give you guys my honest opinion, and I want to give you guys my honest opinion. So... Do I think you should get the iPhone Max or the A Plus? This is my answer. Everyone has their own reasons of why they purchase phones, okay? You may just be someone that just love to get Apple products just because they come out every year. No, baby, not me. I don't have one night that just be getting shit just because, okay? Um... And if that's you, then to each is all. You know, you can't tell people how to spend their money. Second, okay, if you have an A+, plus and you're thinking about getting an X, should you get it? It's not really a big difference, you guys. You're going to talk. You're going to text. You're going to do the same thing on both phones. To me, the camera is better, the front facing camera on the Plus. The back camera is better on the Max. It does take very, very good pictures. FaceTimes are the same on both. Both of them suck because the iOS 12 updates. Um, you get the wireless charging. It ain't in the box. The dongle ain't in the box. You know, um... Fast charging, all that shit. It ain't in the box. You got to pay for all that extra shit. And I feel like if you're someone and you have maybe the iPhone 5 or the 6 or maybe even the 7 or 7 Plus, would it be worth the update to get the Max? Yes. But I feel like if you're someone and you have the 8 Plus, if you just want to spend some money, girl, go ahead and do what you feel. But I feel like, you know, if you're someone and you have the 8 Plus, you ain't missing that much out on the Max, okay? The screen is gorgeous. I'll give it that. Um, it's faster. I'll give it that. But I don't know. Could it be faster because of iOS 12? You know, I use my A+. Plus. To me, you know, if you don't have the Max, you don't have nothing to compare it to. So you're good on your A+. Plus. But like I said, the price on the A+, Plus is significantly cheaper right now. And some places, it's hella cheap. Because it's it's an older phone at this point. Um, I am going to give my review on the phone probably in about two weeks. I feel like a week is not a long time to have the phone. So I'll come back in like a week and give you guys my full review on the phone. So far, so good. And if anything is not good, I'm not going to even say it in this video. I'll keep all that for my review. But if you have an A+, keep your A+. You know, if you're into pictures and stuff like that and you want a, a phone with more gigabytes, get the 500 one. Okay? It's a lot of money. 
$1,400 plus tax is a lot of money. And Apple taxes the shit out of you. State tax, they tax the shit out of you. So you'll be paying a lot of money for a phone. Um, the X Max is, and I'm not going to say X, X Max, but I'm going to do all that. It's a good phone. I purchased the phone because of my reasons, which I'll do that in the review. But, you know, the A Plus is still a good phone. If you're watching me and you have an A Plus, don't feel the pressure just to go out and get the phone just because. If you like your phone, keep your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, I had the X. And I remember saying, you know, I love the phone. I love the display on the phone. I love everything about the phone. I just hated this notch at the top. Like, I hated it. Especially on that smaller phone because, I mean, it's so noticeable on that smaller phone. Now, once you have this big-ass screen right here, it's not even that noticeable. And Apple thought they were slick because they put that little wallpaper at the top where it looked like you could really see it. But, girl, you can see when you start going into them apps, okay? I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. You know, like I said, I'm not a techie channel. I'm just going by what I've noticed. And, and, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. If you have the 8 Plus, are you going to get the Max? If you have the 8 Plus, are you even going to get the, the smaller one, like the new X? You know, let me know in the comments down below. This is just my opinion. Don't come for me. I ain't no techie channel. Like I said, it is what it is. You guys see me in this outfit twice. I am finna film a what is on my iPhone video. So, that will be coming up pretty soon. And I think that's pretty much it. By the time you guys see this video, if the what is on my iPhone video is out, I'll have a link down below. If not, just keep checking my channel for because you guys requested it. And also, if you guys want a case collection, give this video a thumbs up. I still am waiting for a couple of cases to come in. You guys know I love phone cases. This is a phone case that I have on my phone. You, this camera's not going to do it any just because it's so far away. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. It's a case spade. It looks really, really cute in person. But before I start this video, I had my black phone case on to match. You know, I have my black today. And this is how this phone case looks. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It looks like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. The light is so bright in here. But anyway, it looks like this. It has like, I don't know if this is a, a tiger, a lion. I don't know with like diamonds and stuff on it. But like I said, if you guys want a case collection. Because I have, like, like y'all know I'm a case hoarder. Like I'm a case whore. And I collect really cute phone cases. As you guys can see, this was the one on my 8 Plus. I'll put it, well, it's on the floor. This is the one I had on my 8 Plus, kind of like a Louis Vuitton dupe. Um, I did a video on these, as you guys can see. Really, really cute. I still love this phone case. I'm actually looking for one for my uh, Max. But if you guys do want a case collection, give this video a thumbs up. And once all my cases come in, I can definitely do a case collection for you guys. Um, and leave the links to all the cases down below. But this one I got from um, Best Buy, but I can link it as well. But I will link all the cases down below just in case you guys want to get some of the phone cases that I have. And this video is going to be 30 some minutes. I'm so sorry. Love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Snapchat get further on everything. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to leave all your comments down below. Let me know what phone you have. If you are watching this video, let me know what phone you have. Do you think the iPhone Max is worth upgrading? Or are you sticking to your iPhone 8 Plus? So, that are, that are, I'm not editing that shit out. This has been my comparison, my way, not the techie way, my way, as a paying customer on both of my phones. You guys asked for it, that's what I'm giving it to you, raw, and it is what it is. So, I love you guys so, so much, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Maybe your picture perfect, your smile, God made it perfect. Don't let nobody tell.